Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on algebraic fractions. In this video, we'll be looking at addition and subtraction. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on algebraic fractions. So we start with problem one. Problem one. We have to simplify a 3a over x plus 5b over 2x, b 7 over 5a minus 3 over 2b, and c x over 4 minus 7x over 8 plus 5x over 2. So we start with the solution from a and we look at the denominator of the fractions. The denominator here is x while this is 2x. So the LCM of x and 2x is 2x. So we have the LCM to be 2x. We now use this LCM, which is 2x, to divide x, which is the first denominator. That gives 2. 2 times 3a gives 6a. Again, 2x divided by 2x gives 1. So 1 times 5b will give us 5b. So we put the connector plus 5b. And there's no way we can simplify this further. So this is the simplest form of the two fractions. We go to b part of the problem. For b, we have 7 over 5a minus 3 over 2b. So again, we find the LCM of 5a and 2b which is giving us 10 ab so we have the lcm as 10 ab 10 ab divided by 5a gives 2b 2b times 7 gives 14 b 10 ab divided by 2b gives 5a 5a times 3 gives 15a so we have it as minus 15a and again there's no way we can simplify this further so that is the end of solution to 1b we go for c for c we have x over 4 minus 7x over 8 plus 5x over 2 so we find the lcm of 4 8 and 2 and that will give us 8 so we have the lcm as 8 8 divided by 4 gives 2. 2 times x gives 2x. 8 divided by 8 gives 1. 1 times 7x gives 7x. That's going to be minus 7x. Then plus 8 divided by 2 gives 4. 4 times 5x gives 20x. So we then simplify the numerator further. So we start with the positive terms, 2x plus 20x, that gives 22x minus 7x gives 15x over 8. And that is the end of solution to problem 1c. So we are done with problem 1. We then go to problem 2. For problem 2, we have to express 5 over 6xy plus 3 minus x over 3x plus 1 as a single fraction. So this is still going to be addition of algebraic fraction. So in our solution, we are going to find the LCM of 6xy and 3x. So invariably, the LCM is 6xy. So the LCM is 6xy. 6xy divided by 6xy gives 1. 1 times 5 gives 5, then plus 6xy divided by 3x, and that will give us 2y. So we bring in the 2y into 3 minus x. We go to the whole number part, which has been expressed as fraction, 1 over 1. If it is 3, it will be 3 over 1. So 6xy divided by 1 gives 6xy. Multiply by 1, we have it as plus 6xy. 
expand the bracket at the numerator. Remember, we are still maintaining the denominator. So we have 5. So we now have plus 6y, then minus 2xy, then plus 6xy. Remember, this is plus 2y times 3, giving us 6y plus 2y times negative x. Positive and negative gives negative. So we have it as 2xy then 6xy. So we can only simplify the last two terms. So we will have the final answer as 5 plus 6y then plus 4xy over 6xy. So that's the end of solution to problem 2. We then go to problem 3. For problem 3, we have to simplify two problems there, A and B. So in our solution, we start from A. So from here, we find the LCM of the denominators. The LCM of the denominators, which are A minus 2 and A plus 3, will be A minus 2 into A plus 3. So we pick this LCM, which is A minus 2 into A plus 3. We divide it by this denominator. This, we cancel this. We are left with A plus 3, which will be multiplied by 6. So we have it as 6 into A plus 3. The connector there is minus. Now we go for the denominator again, divide by this. So that's going to give us a minus 2 into a plus 3 divided by a plus 3. So again, this a plus 3, we cancel a plus 3. So we are left with a minus 2, which is going to be multiplied by 5. So we have it 5 into a minus 2. We expand the bracket and simplify to get our final answer. 6 times a gives... 6a so 6 times 3 gives 18 negative 5 times a gives negative 5a negative 5 times negative 2 gives positive 10 this is over a minus 2 into a plus 3 simplifying this this is going to give us a a plus 28 over a minus 2 into a plus 3. So we are done with A part of problem 3. We then go to B part. Um, for B, we have 2m over m minus n plus m over n minus m. m minus n, n minus m. We can transform this to become m minus n. So let's look at the transformation here, n minus m. So if you look at this, this is n minus m. So the common factor there is negative 1. And n divided by negative 1 will give us negative n. Negative m divided by negative 1 gives positive m. So this n minus m is equivalent to this. So we write and substitute negative 1 into negative m plus n then with this so i have 2 m over m minus n then this is plus m over negative 1 we rearrange into m minus n so this is how this negative one, we transform this positive to negative. Or positive divided by negative will still give you negative. So finally, before we simplify, we have 2m over m minus n, then minus m m minus n. So we can then simplify. So the LCM of the denominators is just m minus n. So m minus n n divide by m minus n this, that gives 1 multiply by 2m gives 2m then minus 
m minus n divided by m minus n gives 1. 1 times m gives m. So 2m minus m gives m over m minus n. That's the end of solution to problem 3b and the entire problem 3. This is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on algebraic fractions. Don't forget also to like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.